contributed to this journey to the extent it is impossible to thank them all in this forum. In this regard, allow me to pay a special tribute to all my supporters, my friends, whose tireless efforts, sacrifice, and hard work have culminated into the event that we are witnessing today. I thank my campaign committees. I'd like to recognize them. Chairman Magwani, Engineer Namuki. Uh -huh. Chairman Mohoni, Engineer Musoi. There. Chairman Kaiti. Where is Chairman Kaiti? Dr. Ndolo. Dr. Ndolo. Chairman Kibwezi West. Uh, uh, Guma, Madam. Who was the chairman? Yes. No, no, no. Engineer Mumo. And then Chairman Kibwezi East, Dr. Musina. We will write here. Anderson. Anderson Madeka, thank you. I would like to thank the campaign committees at all levels. Investors, I call them investors, not businessmen. Professionals and the clergy here for supporting our cause. A very special appreciation goes to the thousands of people of Makwene who heeded the call and turned up to elect us. 214,088 votes is the highest gubernatorial election in Kenya. <laughs> to you, the people of Makwene, I say thank you. We are humbled by your show of confidence. We are ready to face the challenges ahead of us. To my family, especially my wife and first lady Anita, thank you for the love and support, the sacrifices you have made in order for me to serve the people of Makweni. Unknown to all of you, we had a family tragedy towards the tail end of these campaigns. We are yet to come to terms with the loss. We nearly gave up, but God gave us strength. Ladies and gentlemen, the history of the evolution in Makweni will be complete without mentioning the outgoing governor, Kivuza Kibwana. We appreciate the work you have done, which has placed Makweni on the map of Kenya. The initial effort not only offers a foundation for future work, but also offers some valuable lessons for us. I am honored that my government will be the first beneficiary of this foundational effort, and hence would like to thank the outgoing governor for bravely leading the path to the evolution. Going forward, my solemn responsibility to the people of Makweni is to leapfrog development in Makweni in order to improve the livelihoods of the people and residents of this great county. Fellow residents of Makweni, my government is not oblivious to the high hopes and aspirations placed in our leadership through your vote. We listened to your concerns during our visits across the county, and this became the basis of the, my government's development agenda. Nothing in this manifesto or any policies or any programs developed before this election was without hard work and sacrifice. I urge all public servants to go back to work. I repeat, I hope we will have a good one. I will hold each department responsible for their duties from today onwards. I will check, and trust me when I say I will check, I will check. We will institute systems to ensure delivery of services is not taken for granted. I will in the next few days seek for reports on all medical personnel, status of each medical facility, status of each market center, status of all our roads and equipment. It will not be business as usual. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll remind you, we are all servants of the people of Makweni. I will insist on the values and principles of public service under the Constitution as a benchmark of your performance as a public servant. I wish to thank the Assumption of Office Committee for the work you have done. You need to complete your work quickly. We are waiting. Make sure I get written reports signed by the respective heads of each department. I will hold individual responsibility for the accuracy of the information in those reports.
Your committee must work hard and ensure I get a report within 30 days so that it can be tabled in the assembly. While on this, let me assure the members of staff under this county government that my administration will adhere to good human resource management, free of unfair labor practices that some of you may have been subjected to. Every member of staff shall be given an opportunity to carry out their responsibilities without fear or fear. In the same breath, we will scrutinize to the letter the recent circular from the Council of Governors in the deployment of staff in Makwani to confirm that you have complied. I undertake that my administration will run a transparent, accountable government to allow Makwani citizens to experience the high level of good governance and desired service delivery. My fellow residents, elections are now in the past. We must now forge ahead. I will engage the national government officers and seek partnerships with development partners, international organizations, neighboring countries to enhance additional access to development resources. My government will also safeguard the interests of the people of Makwen. Public participation will be a strong pillar of our governance system. So that the people of Makwani can contribute toward the goals of prosperity of their county. I will reinvigorate service delivery units to ensure value for money in our development projects. I want to congratulate all elected leaders in our midst. The women rep representative, Honorable Rose Moseo, Members of National Assembly who are here and who are coming, Mem the Senator Daniel Manzo, members of County Assembly, I congratulate all leaders who fight for all positions for the desire to serve in the county. As I have committed, I will soon form a caucus of all leaders. Do you align? Yeah. 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 Okay. I am convinced that the challenges facing our county are surmountable if we harness our resources and apply our collective effort towards addressing them. My address to all of you, an appeal to all Makwani residents, whether we in Makwani or outside, and friends of Makwani, lend me your support. Our destiny as a county is in our hands. God bless Makwani. God bless Ken. Gracias,